It is time! Show the day! Red Pepper, 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 and then the lightning round is over. Are you ready? Ski dash over the lightning round. Let's start with Ian in Virginia. Ian. Hey, Kramer. Thanks for having me today. I appreciate it. I just wanted to know how you think Nike will perform through this market volatility, considering it's so close to all-time highs. Should I, I buy right now? It goes higher. Why? Because they have one of the best quarters that I've seen in ages. And my congratulations to Mark Parker, who will not come on the show, and it's beginning to really break my heart. Robin in Florida, Robin! Hi, Jim. Thank you for taking my call. You're welcome. I have been researching stocks that have high growth potential and are undervalued okay. to roll over from my traditional IRA in hopes of beefing up my small Roth. All right. Three weeks ago, I bought HMI. I hope I'm not crazy. No, it's it's my device company. Remember, there's only one device company in the whole wide world that's worth owning, and that is Apple. So even though I know your stock is very low dollar amount, Apple's a better buy. How about Steve in Jersey? Steve. Booyah, Jim. How are you? I am good, Steve. How about you? Good, good. I'm calling about a company that sold 54 billion parts in fiscal year 2019. Just signed three financed expansion agreements where the customers gave them $72 million to expand and guaranteed to purchase okay. 33% of the ad capacity okay. from that expansion. The company is only trading at six times earnings and just started a dividend last year. Right. The company is Kemet out of Fort Lauderdale. Kemet is incredibly undervalued. I don't really get it. I think it's just way too cheap. I think it is a... Riley in Colorado. Riley! Jim, thanks for taking my call. My pleasure. So my question is, Haynes Brands. With their acquisitions of Bali and the fast-growing champion brand and their plans to expand those further into China and other locations, do you think that's a worthy I have investment? Just, I have not liked the textile business. I am not going to go there. I know it's got a good yield. I know it's a good company. I just need growth. I want growth. Let's go to David in Texas. David! Hey, Jim. Booyah from Texas. Happy, happy Friday there. Oh, thank you, question. buddy. What's going on? Had a quick question, man. I picked up uh, a few shares of uh, ENTH in phase about um, three weeks ago during a sweet dip, and I was wondering, um, thinking about holding a long position and adding during the dips. What you think about that? Okay, Enphase is a company that a lot of people are short. They're betting that it can't last. It's in solar power modules. I say it's incredibly speculative, but if people want to buy solar, I'm never going to discourage anybody from doing that. That ladies and inclusion of the lightning round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. Today we died in hell. Let's go to Daniel in Pennsylvania. Daniel. Daniel. Yes. Rock, Chuck, Jayhawk, Jim. Okay, I love the Jayhawks. Always been a Jayhawk fan ever since Wilt. You killed it. I'm digging to the broker. Can we do a week that was? Okay, mad money is. 60 minutes is back after the break. Colonel Mustard in the library with the knife. The lightning round. Stick him. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. <laughs> 